Stir frying on the E5 and this E7 is an absolute breeze because of the new system here. On the multifunction plate, we just remove the sizzle plate, turn on the universal burner in the centre, and then also to help along, two rail burners. Once they are on, place the wok completely over the top, and this wok needs to be quite hot when we start. These barbecues have great fold in and fold out servery. So make good use of those. They can hold uh, a lot of the food items, keeps the food off the floor, and we're not in use, they can slide straight in and out of the way. Now for this one here, this is a, a noodle stir fry. Um, it involves a sauce and a lot of vegetables. We need to keep it nice and hot. So we have great control uh, with the barbecue here. Start off with uh, some, some olive oil. Don't need to get it too hot, just a nice little splash around. As soon as you see a little bit of smoke coming off, which I call the breath of the wok, it's ready to start. I like to start off with, uh, with three vegetables, doesn't need any green here, carrots, capsicums and onions. And these need just to be uh, tossed fairly quickly. If you don't hear that sound, that sizzle sound, you haven't got enough heat in the barbecue. Once I've had about two minutes of uh, sautéing, and I've got plenty of heat there, so I now I can actually turn the heat down slightly. We need to make a broth for the noodles to suck up. So a very simple one is one cup of chicken stock, about three tablespoons of dark soy, and a teaspoon of some um, Malaysian curry powder, which is really fragrant, uh, spicy, but not very hot and chilly. Those three ingredients will make up a nice flavor base for these noodle dishes. So. It'll boil very quickly, a lot of power under there. Make sure the curry powder is dissolved. And once that's in and boiling like that, we need to add the noodles. And I've got here some, uh, some uh, egg noodles, which have been already cooked for about two minutes. They'll go straight in. And now the idea is to just throw these around, keep the heat up fairly high, and let those noodles absorb that lovely broth we've created. Keep tossing those around, and when you notice there's not much broth left, which is good because it's been absorbed, we need to add the, the fragrant herbs. And what I've got here is some roughly chopped coriander, which I love, and also some green onions or spring onions. Just cut at a slight angle. They'll go in. And basically now, all we need to do is give that a really nice stir through. Again, it's all about temperature control and timing. Turn off the two rail burners, keeping the middle one on, and just give that a nice little blend. Now what I'm looking for now is no sign of that broth, so that's been absorbed. Turn it off and finish it finely with a good splash of sesame seed oil. For this you need about a tablespoon, and that is really for the flavour and the fragrance. It doesn't need to uh, be sort of cooked through. And all we do now is place that into a bowl, chopsticks, serve it up, absolutely beautiful.